it's Roxy. So today I'm going to show you some really fun and easy DIY hair accessories that you can use for prom. And everything that I purchased here is actually from Michaels. So if you don't have a Michaels near you, then um, I'm sure you could go to any craft store and purchase things that are very similar. Also, stay tuned till after the DIYs are over, I'm going to show you some effortless hairstyles that you can use for prom using these accessories. I hope you guys enjoy these and please don't forget to tweet me or Instagram pictures of your guys' DIY hair accessories that you do. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So here are some of the materials you're going to need to complete this DIY. So you're going to need a hot glue gun, scissors, some fabric butterflies, some fake flowers, hair clips, ribbon and lace, a headband, green wire, and of course long flowers. So for the first DIY you're going to need the hair clips and the fabricated butterflies. Now these are just gold and if you can't find them in any colors then don't worry because you can after you're done spray paint them to whatever color you prefer. So what we're going to do with the butterflies is that we're going to hot glue them to the hair clip and we're going to make sure that we cover the hair clip with each butterfly first in a row just like I'm doing here and you can kind of eyeball it before you put the glue to the fabric and then you're just going to take them and it should look something like this. So let me show you how it's done. So you want to make sure your hair clip is turned upside down with the flat side up on top and take your hot glue gun, place the glue on the clip and like I said before you want to make sure you cover the clip with a whole roll of the fabric butterflies so that way you can't see the clip and it's not visible and you want to make sure you do this pretty quickly because the glue does tend to dry out pretty fast so here I'm just taking the second butterfly and I'm going to place it on top and you can definitely layer them on top of each other it looks nice either way if you separate the butterflies or if you layer them Now I'm going to show you how you can style these hair clips. So if you're going to prom and you just want a beautiful fairy tale effortless look, all you have to do is curl your hair, part your hair to the side, take a section of your hair, twist it and clip it in the back. By clipping it with the butterfly clips, it should hold. You could put hairspray, but it definitely looks stunning. Now with this look here, I did the same thing that I did with the first look. I twisted the hair, parted on the side, but instead of just doing one side, I twisted both. So this is how I did this look. flower in your hair is definitely optional but I think it looks so pretty because flowers and butterflies go hand in hand and it goes really well with this fairy tale theme. So this look has to be by far the easiest headpiece headband I've ever made because you can make it in any color that you prefer. So you're going to take your headband and I chose black because I think the black just stands 
out really well against the gold and you're gonna take it and take the ribbon and you're gonna kind of eyeball it so you can make sure you have enough of the ribbon and then you're gonna just cut off the access ribbon and then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna hot glue the glue onto the headband and make sure it's on the flatter side of the ribbon and you want to make sure you do this process really fast because like I said before the glue does tend to dry out pretty quickly Now I'm going to show you how you can style this beautiful headpiece. So what you're going to do is take the crown of your hair and section that off. And then you're going to take a comb and begin teasing the back of your hair so you can look like Snooky. No, I'm just kidding. You want to make sure you tease it so that way you can give it some volume and just make it more beautiful and luscious. And then you're going to take your headband and place your headband about an inch away from your forehead and it just has a beautiful effortless look. Now I think this look is so Greek goddess fairy tale. So what you're going to do is just take your lace or any ribbon that you have left over from any of your other projects and you're going to put all your hair to one side like I am doing here. And you're basically going to make a side braid. Now if you don't know how to make a braid then I'm sure you can check out some tutorials on how to do a braid so basically you're just gonna braid your hair off to the side now it could be on the side it could be in the back I mean the braid could be anywhere you want to be um, and then I'm gonna show you how you can intertwine the ribbon lace into your beautiful hair for this fairy tale Greek goddess uh, look Now you're going to take the lace ribbon and you're going to poke it through the braid and clip it with a bobby pin and simply start wrapping the lace around your braid or you can intertwine the lace into the braid. So this floral headpiece has to be my most favorite hair accessory out of all these. I think it's just simply gorgeous because there's not too many flowers and you can still see the stem. So I think it looks very simple but very beautiful at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the flower stem that we purchased from Michaels and we're going to locate the longest stem on the flower because that's what we're going to use to bend and create our crown headpiece. So because there is a wire built inside of the stem, you're going to be able to easily just bend it and make it round to form to your head. Now I really like this crown piece because there's not too many flowers. Now if you want something with more flowers, then you can just simply cut excess from the other stem and put it onto this one. So we're basically going to connect the two ends together like I'm doing here and with the green wire we're going to begin wrapping the two together so they can connect and the green wire is perfect because the stem is green so you won't be able to see it as well. Now if you have extra stems like this one dangling off to the side, you could just simply pin it down like we did with the green wire and it just forms really nicely or simply just cut it off. Now the last look is definitely very fairy tale, but it's also very prom appropriate with a nice updo, but it's still very effortless at the same time. So basically you're going to make the bigger crown a lot smaller the same way you did with the first one. Now you're going to put your hair in a very loose ponytail and as you can tell I'm not even using a comb 
or hairspray to pin down the flyaways because again, I just want it to be very effortless looking and it looks very stunning, I think. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little donut bun and you're gonna stick it through the ponytail or you can use a sock. And as you can see, I have some flyaways and some bumps, but I think that's what makes it look very effortless and still very fairy tale gorgeous at the same time. So you're gonna begin putting the hair over the bun and getting another rubber band and putting that on top. And then you're gonna tuck in all the hair inside the bun so we don't see any hair on the outside and do this all the way around tucking the hair through and through the bun until you have a beautiful nice donut on top of your hair. Now you're all done creating your nice and effortless bun and you're just going to stick your crown through the bun and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I had so much fun filming it for you. It was a lot of fun. Um, please leave me a comment down below letting me know which accessory was your favorite and what are you wearing for prom because I would like to know. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!